Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to go through around 37 or 40 features which can be enabled via software coding or better known as VCDS coding. And all these features are already in the car given by the manufacturer from factory, but they are disabled due to country specific reasons. This is a Skoda Slavia 2020 manufactured and mission variant one liter manual, which is having an eight inch new system and a analog dial. Although you can see that the headlights are replaced in ambition variant, there are double barrel halogen headlights, but the owner has replaced them with the style variant headlight for which the coding is already done for the proper and error free functioning. The first feature, this is called lock unlock sound. So if I press the unlock button on the remote once, you will hear double beep sound. The car gets unlocked. So if I press the lock button once, you will hear the single beep sound that means the complete car is locked so now if i leave any of the four doors open like right now i have left the rear driver door open so now if i press the lock button you will not hear the single beep sound that means the car any of the four doors or dicky or the bonnet is open so if i press the lock button you did not hear the single beep sound or you did not see the indicators blinking so now if i go and lock the door Indicator blinked and you heard the single beep sound. So this next option, this is called driver window open close using remote. So if I long press the unlock button on the remote, you will see driver window will start opening as long as you keep the button pressed. Now if I press the lock button once, you will see that the driver window will close automatically. Now if I long press the lock button, the driver window will be closing as long as I keep the button pressed. If I want to close the window, I need to press the button again. Okay, so right now you can see that the car is locked, ORVM are folded. If I press the unlock button, car gets unlocked, but the ORVM did not open. So now if I get inside the car and I turn on the ignition, you will see ORBM will open. So this next feature, this is called DRL and tail light on when unlocking the car. So now if I press the unlock button, car gets unlocked, DRL gets on automatically and simultaneously the tail lights also get on. As you can see, if I lock the car, tail light gets off and simultaneously the DRL also gets off. So this next feature is called front DRL blinking with indicator. So right now you can see that the front DRL and indicator, they are blinking simultaneously. If we go on the other side, this is the second option. You will see that the DRL and the indicator, they are blinking one by one or out of sync. So the same blinking can be done for the tail lights as well as the indicator. So first option, this is for one side. You can see the tail lights and the indicator, they are blinking simultaneously. And the other option, this will be tail lights and indicator. They are blinking one by one or out of sync. So this next option, this is called ORVM indicator blinking out of sync with the front and rear indicators. So right now you can see on the driver side, ORVM and the front indicator, they are blinking out of sync. If we go behind the car, you will see the same thing happening. Now take a look at the ORVM indicator it is blinking one by one from the rear indicator so this next feature is called tail light on with boot open so if i long press the dicky opening button on the remote you will see the tail lights will be on and the dicky will be open this is how this thing works and if i close the dicky you will see tail lights are off so this next feature this is called fog light flashing with high beam flashing so if i pull the headlight lever for the dipper function, you will see that the fog lights are also flashing with the high beam on the dipper function. Okay, next feature, this is called cornering fog lights. So right now I have turned on the headlight. If I move the steering right side, you will see that the right side fog light is getting on. Now I have moved the steering back to center. Now if I move the steering towards the left side, you will see the same thing happening. Now, even if I give the indicator on any of the side, you will see that side fog light is getting on. 
and working as a cornering light. Left side, you will see left side fog light is getting on. Next option will be front fog lights on in reverse gear. So now if I put the reverse gear, you will see front fog lights, both the fog lights are getting on automatically. Let me do it again. So this next option is called rear LED SDR. So as you can see, the headlight is in off position, zero position. So if I go behind the car, you will see that the tail lights are on. So this next option, this is called DRL off on applying handbrake. So right now you can see the handbrake is down. If I go in front of the car, you will see that the front DRLs are on. So now if I go inside and pull the handbrake, you will see DRLs will be off. So now I have pulled the handbrake. I am going in front of the car. You will see that both the front DRL, they are off. And simultaneously, if we have enabled rear LEDs DRL, when we pull the handbrake, the tail lights will also be off. So right now you can see that the car engine is on. RPM is around 1000. So if I go outside the car with the key in my hand, if I close the door, now I can press the lock button. Car gets locked. So I can lock the car even with engine or ignition on. So now you can see that if I pull the door handle, the car does not open. So this next feature, this is a secret feature. Like you can open the boot in case the car engine or ignition is on. So right now, you, as you can see, the car is locked and the engine is on. So now, if I show you in the back, you will see that the dicky is closed or the boot is closed. So now let me do the magic. You will see the dicky gets open. So the next feature is called teardrop wipe. So if I pull the wiper lever, the water sprays and then it wipes three times and the wiper after that waits five seconds and wipe one more time automatically. This next option, this is called lane change click to five blinks. So if I tilt the indicator slightly, you will see that the indicator will blink five times. This next option, this is called theater dimming effect. So right now you can see that the headlight is in off position. If I turn on the headlight or turn on the parking lights, you will see all the lights inside the car cabin. They are getting on slowly, getting off slowly. And this thing even works on the driver door pad buttons like this. And on the center console of the car. So this next feature, this is called start stop button pulsation so as you can see i have opened the driver door or if the ignition is on the start stop button will keep on pulsating once i start the engine the blinking stops this next option related to the instrument cluster this is called needle sweep at startup so if i turn on the ignition you will see needle sweep happening so this next feature this is called economy tips on the mid so if I am stationary, if I rev the engine two or three times, you will get an economy dip on the MID like this. This next option related to the instrument cluster, this is called increased illumination of analog dials, even with headlight in off or zero position. As you can see now, the headlight is in off position or you can see zero position. So other options that are enabled for the instrument cluster. First one is oil temperature. So I can, you can see it is showing 85 degrees Celsius. Although this oil temperature, it is disabled by default in one liter engines. Next will be refuel quantity. So right now it is showing 10 liters of fuel. That means if we fill 10 liters of fuel in tank, tank will become full. This thing shows in multiple of five only. And when the tank is full, it shows dash or hyphen. The next option on the MID, this is called convenience consumers. So right now you can see it is showing half liter per hour extra fuel consumption because of the climate control. And this thing shows the extra fuel consumption because of convenience items like AC, fog lights and the rear defogger. So now if I turn on the fog lights, you will see some extra fuel consumption. 
Now I have turned off the fog light. If I turn off the AC, this thing will become zero. So this next option on the MID, this is called lap timer. So this is how it shows on the MID. There are options to start, since start, statistics. So if I click on start, stop, new lap, split time, all these options are there. So next option, this is related to AC. So if you press the auto button, you will see that it is showing the fan speed earlier, which used to be blank. So this can be enabled in the AC. Second option for the AC that is called enhanced AC cooling. So right now, if you can see the temperature I have set to 24 and the outside temperature, it is showing 32 degrees Celsius and car is still comfortable inside. Even if I press it to 25, I am still happy with the AC problem of the AC why is it there because the AC from factory it is set to cold climate country and by changing it to hot climate country the AC performs better this next feature related to infotainment this is called VRS startup animation this thing shows only for one or two seconds and it shows only once or twice out of hundred times so this may not be much useful the next option related to the infotainment, this is called off-road menu. This is a 18 new system. So you can see on the left side, it is showing the oil temperature, which is 82 degrees Celsius. In the center is the tire angle, although the tire angle on this system, or you can say the 18 system, this is not useful because it shows a very huge number even on moving the steering very slightly. In the right, you can see the coolant temperature. The next option for the infotainment, this is called engine auto start stop reasons. So right now I click on the vehicle status. There is a small button called A info. If I click here, you will see that right now it is showing three reasons. Like vehicle power consumption is high, engine must be running faster seat belt. can go and see the reasons why the engine is not getting off. Next option related to the infotainment, this is called AC controls on the MU system. So now on when you press the menu button, there you will see a button for air conditioning. So from here, you can manually adjust the AC manual off and auto. If I press on auto, AC will be in auto mode. If I click on off, AC will be off. In manual options, I can change anything. Air flow, like on the face. I can increase decrease the temperature from this option. The sink and this right side plus minus, they are dummy. From here, I can increase decrease the fan speed. This is the AC compressor on off option. So this next feature, this is related to the enhanced audio that is called Canton sound signature uh, and the difference in the sound is noticeable very much. The bass becomes better and the tweeters, uh, the sound from the tweeters that is also audible very much. So in short, the sound quality enhances. So this option in the infotainment, this is for disabling the DRL or turning on or off the DRL. So if I click on car, click on setting, click on light, you will see a option for daytime running light so i can disable enable this option and the drls in the front will be off so these next three features they are related to the driving dynamics of the car so first one is related to the steering that is called dynamic steering profile so by default from factory the steering is very light but if you want to increase the weight or want more feedback or control the steering becomes little heavy Second option that is for the throttle that is called enhanced throttle response like right now whenever we are crawling in the second gear and whenever we press the accelerator there is some sort of lag that is felt between 900 to 1600 rpm and especially in the second gear. By using this setting the lag can be reduced to some extent it doesn't become completely zero but the car pulls a little linear. Third option that is for the brakes that is called enhanced traction control or torque vectoring with strong XDS. So the torque vectoring thing, this is set to medium from factory by default. And what this thing does is it improves braking while cornering and in general also. So if we change this setting to strong, the braking will become little better. Cornering will be even better because it improves braking while cornering. And in general, you will feel the braking also sharp or the bite will be better than medium setting. We have coded more than 750 cars all over India. 
so you can go and check out us on instagram if you want to get these features enabled in your car you can ping us on whatsapp or instagram and the links are provided in the description please like share comment and subscribe thank you for watching